All right, now that we have our panel ready, let's go online and find a smiley face image or any other image that you wish to apply to it. So I already did that and I put it into uh, Photoshop and you gotta make sure depending on the on the size of that image and with this one you can see it's uh, I made it 30 by 30 pixels so if you have 30 by 30 pixels you have to make sure that your grid on the curtain wall if you make a conceptual uh, a mass I mean mass We gotta make sure that this grid is 30 by 30, and since our panel is 10 by 10, then we're looking at 300 feet. By right, 300 feet. You gotta divide the surface and change it to a fixed distance of 10 feet. Now, if you go back to our panel. You can apply it and that depending on the size of that it might take anywhere from you know a couple seconds to regenerate all those panels or you know a couple longer minutes so just make you know keep that in mind when you decide whether it's going to be 10 by 10 pixels or you know 10 hundred by 10 hundred pixels so Hours done pretty fast. Now, the next thing that we have to do is make sure that when, we, when we're in our folder, when we uh, ex extracted all those files, there's a there's a rule: the BMP file has to have exact same name as the actual Revit family file. And the, that's the Revit family file, which is, you know, the panel, the panels all together, has to have the same name as the BMP file, plus the gray minus the grayscale, unders underscore grayscale. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this uh, smiley face. And I'm gonna save it in my. API experiments as a grayscale PMP, and that's a, just an example file that Zach included in a, in a zip file. So keep that, and then I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna save it over his other example file. And this way, I make sure that my naming conventions are still all good. So, you know, for the next one, I'll just save it as, you know, underscore one, and then my BNP file, I'll save it as underscore one as well. And that way, I'll, you know, I can populate as many of those as I want with different BNP files, uh, with different bitmap files. So once we have that, then the plugin, you just gotta go to add in and hit set parameter value and see what happens so there it is our smiley face the only thing that happened is that it's on the angle so if you go to Photoshop and um, rotate the image then save it again Go back to Autodesk and reset it. So there it is. We just did our first wall with uh, using APIs. You can see how the panels sort of open up. This is a value of zero. This is a value of one. So they're either closed or open. And I, I guess you can do this for you know any number of images. And since you know, the grayscale parameter can be attached to any different 
you know, controllers within the panel or a family or whatever you want to do with it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's a little bit longer, but uh, I think we covered a pretty good portion of what the API does, uh, especially the API plugin that Zach had on his website. I, I like to uh, give credit to him for having it posted, and um, I hope this helps. So thank you.